Everything around us is made of atoms, and they're very, very tiny. An atom is about a tenth of a thousandth of a millionth of a meter. Or in other words, if you put 10,000 million atoms side by side, they'd only be about a meter long. So there's probably about 10,000 million atoms along here, and there's probably about 10,000 million atoms along here. So the total number of atoms on the top of this table is just amazing. It's an enormous number. And atoms are made up of charged particles, uh, positive protons, negative electrons, and there's some neutral neutrons in there as well. And the amazing thing is, out of the billions and billions and billions and billions of these charged particles, the great majority of them balance perfectly so that it's completely neutral, so there's no charge. Even though it's made up of billions of charges, billions and billions and billions of charges, the whole table remains neutral because there's this perfect balance. Now, if you can separate the charge for a while, so you put some of the positive on one side and some on the negative on the other, there's a force of attraction because opposites attract. Then you can, that's basically what electricity is. You can use that force of attraction. Now, there are some naturally occurring minerals that do that. This is quartz. It's a beautiful crystal. And the atoms are packed together so regularly that even though there's billions and billions of them, you actually see the way the atoms are packed together because that results in the beautiful crystal. Now, quartz is what's called a, called a piezoelectric material. And it has this amazing property that if you bend it, when you bend it, for a moment, the charge is separated. One side of the crystal goes positive, one side goes negative. You can actually make electricity this way. Now, I'm not really strong enough to bend a big crystal like this, but I've got a tiny bit of piezoelectric material here. This is the white thing on this metal disc. And I've wired the top and the bottom to a little light. And if I flick the crystal, I can bend it, and you can see it actually lights the little bulb and generates electricity. So this is what a piezoelectric material can do. You bend it, and it produces electricity. This is a piezoelectric element that we obtained from a buzzer like this. Here we have the piezoelectric element connected to a voltage meter. When the element is pressed, a voltage is produced. We can see that voltages of up to 20 volts are obtained. For a useful circuit, we need more components. A diode has been added to the PSO element in order to rectify the output, and a capacitor to store the energy that we produce. As we press the PSO electric, the capacitor starts to charge and the voltage increases. Here's the piezoelectric element or transducer and this is the full wave bridge rectifier and then here is the electrolytic capacitor. So what I'm going to do is put this inside my boot under my insole so when I step down on it force is applied and then released so a small voltage will appear throughout here and then start charging up the capacitor. 